We are here with Mary Morse, and we are in her studio space. Um, we're going to learn about her process a little bit here and um, meet Mary and learn her story about how she got um, involved with doing artwork. So I'm going to back around here and introduce you to Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi. Thank, Welcome. Thank you for having us in your space. And um, uh, you all saw the video previous about the stars in their pottery studio. No, Mary lives right down the street from them. So um, it's really fun to be able to see um, two artists in a row that live right <laughs> nearby one another. So this is a treat for me. So hi, thanks for having us. Um, thanks for coming. Tell me about how you got involved initially in producing artwork and getting this, your love of doing artwork. So. so I would say it was a competition. I had a friend named Eleanor who drew horses beautifully and I really wanted to draw as well as Eleanor did. Uh -huh. And so I just got involved with art at, at elementary school level and yep. continued. I went to West Virginia University on a scholarship and I studied pottery. Oh, so great. So it was okay. very fortuitous to move to South Central PA and be neighbors with potters. Oh, so I had a pottery yeah. business. Oh, wow, okay. And um, it was Mary Moore's Pottery, and that ended with my second child. So oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> everything yeah. sort of shut down at that point. Um, so what I do now is I do pastels. Okay. Pastels yes. are the closest thing to drawing mm -hmm. with pigment. They're mm -hmm. not chalks because it's actually compressed pigment without having additives. So it's as direct of a medium. Mm -hmm. So for me as an artist, I love to draw. That was always something any artist will tell you is foundational to being an artist. Yes, absolutely. So these are the these are some examples of pigments and they're pretty um, they're pretty fragile, but I mean it's also like little sticks of dynamite and mm -hmm. they come in different so softness. So some are okay. super soft and some are a little bit harder, more like a, a charcoal. Okay. So my process um, for me like this was a day I spent sometimes I go to other locations for plein air work and mm -hmm. I, I actually went to the grotto oh, yeah. because I was trying to do this inside outside thing where I was inside the building looking outside okay um, so you know I always start any project that I'm doing with some kind of sketches so yeah. I'm trying to mark out the value scale mm -hmm. and trying to figure out placement and um, this is actually a, a lady that was working at a computer there she okay. was generous enough to let me just draw her <laughs> so I, I do I take photos oh, and I then yeah. I have just this is my on-site so oh, this is not for me a finished piece um, it's more information gathering okay uh, my some other like there's a group at the Hanover Arts Guild and okay. so we went to Godoris and this was a piece that we did in the boat marina area um, so local places are I mean this was and this is my backyard on another place um, and everything here is in process usually the way I work is I, I, I do something until I get stuck and then I either ask a friend or I am going to like just let it sit until uh -huh. I get a clarity on it and this and this is another plein air at, at the barn so so everything I have in my um, my studio right now is these are th these are three commissions I'm working on. This is for um, a gentleman in York, and I'm at a point where I've sent him what I've gotten completed, and okay. we're dialoguing. So this whole area in the grass is going to be changed. So oh, I'm looking okay. forward to doing that. Okay. Okay. Um, but as an artist, one of the privileges you can have is you get to go anywhere or be in any season that's so, true yeah so this is a piece a couple wanted me to do it for an anniversary they are in seattle washington at a gardens Lovely. there so that's Very also nice. in progress um so for this kind of work i'm definitely working from photographs and i'm combining different aspects of the photographs to oh, yeah. make the picture work oh, so cool. it, that okay. starts with a sketch as I already showed you from yeah, the grotto, yeah. it's, and submitting to the client, oh, is this how you think you would like to see it? Mm -hmm. um, so, great. And this is for a gentleman named Marty Sholin. These are his great nieces. Aww. 
And so he um, asked me to do it because he likes color and mm -hmm. and he knows that's one of my kind of, I guess, signature marks. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So I guess the last thing I'll show you, I mean, I started off as an artist in pottery, stopped, yeah. picked up pastels because they were easy to, I can leave them and not have to clean them up, whereas yeah. pottery you have to continually fall in love with right. it. Yes. And so, um, so yeah, so I'm working exclusively in pastels at this point. During COVID, I did not do a big series about masks. Yeah, I, yeah. I was in this house with four kids who were <laughs> not happy necessarily right. to be confined to this space. And so we were just managing emotions and life. Yeah. And for me, I have a dog that sleeps on my bed. Yes. So, <laughs> so I, I did a too. series. <laughs> I can relate to this. <laughs> so this is... These are not finished either. This is um, this is Hazel, and and basically what what I was interested in is looking in the mirror and and seeing the reflection. So these are flowers that were actually here, but the image okay. of the dog was reflected in the mirror. Oh, so you were you're looking at the image as it's in the mirror. Yes, I am. Really cool. So what I'm okay. trying to show is really things in my painting that really are not in the physical space, yeah. but they're either reflected outside of the painting. And what I just found remarkable was trying to focus on positive and trying to focus on what what was going well. And so I was trying to retrain my mind to think about the situation as a, um, a time to renew. Mm -hmm. And this spring, the flowers and the plants were just seemed to express to just be so brilliant and beautiful so I was trying to include that yes yeah in the artwork mm -hmm. yeah definitely I think with this COVID thing the when you're stuck at home and kind of noticing more of how nature is kind of developing and, and you know growing like you were saying earlier how that you know, the flowers seem more spectacular and I agree with that and for me I, I saw so many more you know wildlife in our yard you know so it's, it's incredible to see what the change is and how Something negative could be into something positive, like a balance of some mm -hmm. sorts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is this was another one that is also in progress. Um, so both of these pieces are still in progress, Mary. This they one? are. This oh, one's okay. more complete. So this yeah, one was well, actually from the other side of the mirror. Okay. Um, so oh, I see. Yeah, when I mirror. do a, yeah. a pastel, I start with the underpainting, and so a lot of it will be. Um, it'll be yellow, purple, and uh, pink, okay, or like a magenta color, and then I'll I'll work from dark to light. Okay, okay. So you, you work from thin to thick. I mean, that's just yes. my process or how I do it. Great, great. So. And so um, you said you had your second child, and you were doing pottery at the time, and then stopped doing pottery. Do you have you picked up pot pottery at all, like? on the side, like, you know, a little bit here and there, or not necessarily just stick to the pastels now? So I, I still have my potter's wheel, and okay. so with my third and fourth child, we did some pottery during the pandemic, because oh, nice. Tom yeah. and Diane were generous, and so they donated, they said, here, you can have some clay. And so, oh, how great. So yeah. that was wonderful, to yeah. be able to work with them, and kind of just experience pottery through their eye, yeah. eyes so that's great now so. are your kids also into doing art as well or oh uh, not so much they have okay. their own creative twist yeah but yeah. i think it's it's not expressed in, in this necessarily visual yeah yeah fashion awesome that's great well thank you so much for having us in your space and talking about your process and uh Mary actually has a piece right now at Creative York in our adult juried exhibit for York Fest. So um, if you guys want to see her work up close and personal, please uh, give me um, an email or call me to schedule a time to come in to see our exhibit. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you, Mary. Mindy. Bye.